Good evening, everybody. My name is Bobby Craft, and tonight we're going a little bit out of number order, and we're building Arthur. This one is a little bit complicated, and I want to go ahead and just explain something as well. So Arthur was not in the Railway Series books, to the best of my knowledge. Um, but so what I did when I designed this Arthur was I designed him so that he was able to be somewhat scaled to the RWS characters that I have. Um, and I went ahead and made him just a little bit bigger than Thomas, just like he is in the show. And I scaled him like this on purpose because I'm going to have him in a upcoming video that I'm going to make um, called The Spotless Record. I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with that episode. It's out of season seven of Thomas and Friends, but I'm going to try, try my best now that I have uh, Arthur and we have Duck over here. RWS Duck, and I'm not sure if you saw this, but uh, we have a little secret character that I've been working on. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's a little secret guy too, but uh, yeah, we're, we're getting sidetracked. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and build us an Arthur. We're going to start off with a single axle. And we're going to go with out of the extended bogies mod, the small 020 standard. And we're going to place that down. So when we're going to get this to turn around, so we're going to click it once, twice, three, four. So essentially what you're doing, let me just do that one more time. The first time you click it with an empty hand, you don't see the white words. The second time, you don't see the white words for some reason either. Third time, rotate a bogey. Fourth time, rotate a bogey. So basically what you want is you want to be able to see the words rotate a bogey. And then that's how you know that the bogey is going to stay like that. And when you put your Arthur in and out of build mode, like I'm about to do, you'll notice that the wheels don't move. They don't spin like that bug that you might be experiencing. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to go to our triple axle and we want the, where is it? Short 060 driver. Wait, no, I'm sorry. We want the long one. Long 060 driver. Perfect. Place that down right there. So that make sure that your piston is covering up the side of that wheel. Perfect. And then we're going to reach into our bag of tricks and we're going to grab another small 020 and place that right there. And you know, actually, I take that back. Is that right there? Yeah, that's right there. Perfect. And then what you're going to do is you're going to shift right click that bogey and it's going to unlink it. Now, this, as this is in the extended bogeys mod, you'll be able to shift right click it and unlink it so that way it's easier to glue. Otherwise, the way that this wheel arrangement is, you won't be able to glue because these two bogeys are touching each other. And for some reason, they act as um, one entity when they're, or, I'm sorry, they still act like separate entities, but they act like they're entities inside each other or something I, I don't understand how it all works but it won't allow you to glue trust me I tried a million different things with that Arthur over there it just won't let you glue him so yeah that's what we're doing all right next thing that we want to do is we want to grab a couple of things off of this guy We want to come over here and we want to shift right click in a pair of deep slate stairs. And then we want to shift right click in a fluid tank. And we want to grab a deep slate, I'm sorry, deep slate tile stairs, then a fluid tank. And then we want a deep slate tile there as well. Perfect. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we're running it looks like a couple back here i apologize this guy is so complicated i just don't want to make any mistakes i didn't really practice this one beforehand so i'm building him with you at the same time essentially even though i literally just built him 
Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start making this design right here. We're gonna put in our offhand the red brass wrapped local metal. Take a copycat bite. And we're just gonna start running our copycat bites along in, th in the shape of three slabs. So we want three slabs. On the top of these, we're gonna turn them into full blocks. Now the reason that we are doing bites is so that the texture connects all the way across. On the top of our third bite, uh, sorry, on the top of our starting on our second bite, we're gonna put down another slab's worth of copycat bites. And then we're just gonna fill in off of that slab, or off of that uh, yeah, just just do what I'm doing. I don't know how to explain this, and I'm getting tongue-tied. So there we go. This part of the build is going to go over top of the middle wheel, and we're going to go ahead and just complete that on the other side. Like so. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Now, the reason I'm doing Arthur out of order is because I figured, why not? He's He was last on the list, and I kind of like Arthur now that I've watched a little bit about him. And I know what's going on with him and everything. And you know, I kind of just wanted to make Arthur. That, and there were a lot of requests for Arthur as well. A lot of requests. Okay. So as you can see, I'm now putting in a slab worth of red local metal um, bites there to go on top here. And then I am going to place down a set of three of those full blocks. We're going to go ahead and grab a copycat slope layer. Oh, actually, we can keep the red riveted in our offhand. So we want that to go like that. I think that was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, no, that was six. So click that down six times, placing the brass wrapped one in the middle. Then we're gonna grab a hold of a copycat slice, place that copycat slice on the outside. Oops, hold on. On top there, no. Oh my goodness. On top there. And then we want on top of the hole. Oh my goodness. All right, here. It's gonna be difficult. It's just gonna be difficult. So we're gonna place down that. Two copycat half layers. On either side of those half layers, you're gonna place down a couple of slices. And then you're gonna grab your coal and fill in his coal box. Coal slants downwards. So I made the second one or the back one a little bit taller. So there we go. Next thing that we wanna do is we're gonna clear out our palette just a little bit here. And we wanna grab a copycat vertical slice and a copycat board. I believe that's a board. It is a board. Okay. We're going to place down a couple of temporary blocks. Board on the outside. Remove your temporary blocks. Board on the inside. Remove your outer boards. You're going to grab the slim mangrove window. Fill in your windows like so. 
Temporary block on the outside. Copycat board on the inside. Remove your temps. Mangrove windows on the inside. Excellent. Take your copycat half layers and we're gonna place them right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that it just goes to the top and covers up that window. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We're gonna grab a whistle. Place that whistle down on top of our fluid tank. Bring it up three times. Right click it so that it's the most small one. And fill in those blocks like so. Grab your half layers and you're gonna place down the same number of half layers right there by clicking on the whistle so that you've got this shape right here. The next thing that we wanna do is we're gonna go into our little bag of tricks and we're gonna grab a copycat slope layer again. And we're just gonna put the roof on. One, two. One, two, two, one, two. Take a copycat slice, run that on the back there to connect up to the bottom of that roof. Again, run that there, and so it connects it to the bottom of your roof. Fill that in with the red local metal. There we go. We want the deep slate tiles. There's Bean. He says hi, everybody. A good comment to leave would be hi, Bean. No, 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 no. So it's a little bit different of a roof than we normally do, which is fine. We want to be different. Sometimes if we get stuck in a rut doing the same thing all the time, things can get boring and repetitive, and we don't want boring and repetitive. We want new and exciting and fun. Okay, perfect. We might as well just finish up. Wait, what was that? Oh, turtle egg. <laughs> um, we want a tr no train 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 i can spell train controls right there and then behind that we want to go ahead oh my goodness we're gonna put down a board fill that in with the red logo metal and there we go that is our cab we're gonna grab a seat if i can you know just spell correctly for like the next 25 minutes that'd be great perfect that's your cab the next thing that we want to do is we want to just we might as well just finish things off here we're gonna grab a hold of a copycat half panel we're gonna grab our buffer and our coupler place down our buffers our coupler fill those in with the red local metal placing down the half panels on the back side here filling those in with the local metal as well we actually still needed slices we're gonna place one two one two come over here to the other side one, two, one, two. Grab the gray cow catcher out of the Dave's Building Extended mod. Those are going to be your hand railings to get up into Arthur. Ooh. Perfect. We're going to grab a hold of a copycat ladder, placing down that ladder there, filling it in with the red. Is it supposed to be black? I think it's supposed to be black. My bad. Copycat ladder. Black local metal plates. Black local metal plates. 
that right there completes the back half of your Arthur. So your Arthur should look like this up to this point. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to grab a uh, iron wrapped local metal boiler, red and a red local metal boiler. We're going to come in here and we're going to place down boiler by clicking on that steam whistle. So we want the iron wrapped one first and then we want two red ones following it. What you're going to do next is you're going to take a copycat half layer. Clicking on this half layer right here, clicking on the front of it. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to grab a copycat layer. Same thing. Click on the front of it. One, two, three, four, five six, seven. That one is going to match up with this layer right here. One, oh, what? No. One, two, three, four, five. So this one is going to match up with that layer right there. Take your half layer again. One, my goodness, one, no, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. All right, next thing we want to do is we're going to place down yet another half layer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think that's going to be the height of a copycat headstock. Our next thing that we want to do is we want to place down a black local metal. Grab that. We want to place that. Not right there. So we're going to do a little bit of trick. We're going to do a little trick. See how that turns black like that? We're going to place down a layer, a layer, remove that middle, black local metal, and what did I do in the middle here? I think that that was what I did was I just left it like that. I think. And I just put, we'll just put one there like that. I'm down here underneath this guy. What we want to do is you're going to temporarily remove this piece of rail and then remove this piece of gravel or remove the piece underneath it rather. And you're just going to place a copycat slab right there off of that bogey. And then let's just go ahead and fill that back in. And place that rail back on there. Fill all of this in with, well, not that one. Fill those in with the black local metal. Fill that in with the black local metal. This guy is going to be the smoke box facing away from you. We're going to grab a oil burner smokestack and a coal burner smokestack. Oil burner on top, right click it to turn off the smoke. Shift click the coal burner on top of that. And then we want to grab a copycat headstock. We're going to place copycat headstocks all around our uh, oil burner smokestack. Fill these in like so. Oh, I made this guy one too tall. There we go. Take your copycat layers, bring those layers out six 
So we've got one layer on, we want two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then you're gonna grab another copycat layer. One, two, three, four, I believe. No, it's a three. One, two, three. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Place one layer on the outside and click it out once. So you've got that. Place down the smoke box pieces like so. Grab yourself a copycat half layer. Click onto want it right there because that's not going to make any sense for what we're trying to do here. So how can we do this? What's the best way? We want to continue forward with what we were doing. So we're going to place down a panel here. Oh. Panel here. 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 And oh, that's actually not going to be a panel. We want a copycat board. This one is a copycat board. Boom. So place down two copycat panels underneath here. Let's illustrate better over here. Two copycat panels. And then, oh, that's a copycat panel as well. Oh, and then a copycat board up in the front. Oh, okay. See, I'm, I'm relearning how to do this even though I just did it. Normally I practice building these guys a couple of times, but I'm recording this right after I built it. I'm gonna grab a copycat board, shift click that copycat board there, and there. Repeat our panels on these, this other side here. Like a so. We're gonna place down a temporary block. Where did that just get placed? Oh, right there. Okay, these are supposed to be red. So we're just gonna fill these in because it's causing confusion with the placement of other blocks here. So we're gonna place a temporary block here here and here come inside of this we're going to place down a board on the back of that a board on the back of that <clears throat> and then down here on the bottom we're going to place another temporary block grab yourself a copycat panel a copycat slab rather and on the top of this slab, or the top of that um, block, temporary block, place a blank slab. And then we can remove this temporary block. Did I fill in the back? I did not. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. We can also remove that guy as well. Alright, same thing. Enter in from over here. Place a board. Board block nope. there we go that slab's gonna be a little bit of a turd but in the end you will get it perfect now what you want to do is You'll see how we have another copycat board on the outside here. We're just going to fill that in with red so that it's red, red, board on the outside, board on the outside. And then we're going to take a copycat half panel. Place that half panel right there. Let's grab the brass wrapping and fill that in like so. Perfect. Now 
Now for our front, we're gonna grab some white steel. Fill that in with the white steel. Again, grab the white steel. Do the steel slab this time. We're gonna place a steel slab there and a steel slab there. We wanna grab the copycat half layer. And now we should be able to off of the slab. Click once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven. Just so you can see just a spot of color right there. And that's just gonna, you know, just a little bit of, a little bit of something different. It's supposed to be white there, but that's literally the closest to white that I could get. I can't find any other way to put the bogey, make the bogey white back there or any sort of white. So if we do one more, then it covers it up. And this piece doesn't go up that high on Arthur in the pictures. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna grab the white steel again. that on this front one here and then this black one is going to be the black riveted local metal place your buffers and your couplers and then we want to just do those in with the um, red local metal grab hold of the copycat half panel place down that half panel like that, and then we're almost done. We're just gonna do a little bit of decoration now. So we're gonna place, clicking right here in the bottom part, is gonna place that slice there. If you try to place it there, it's not gonna work. So again, click in that, um, click where those two blocks combine, and it's going to place that slice for you. The next thing that we want to do is we're going to place down one, two, three. I believe it's three. Fill that guy in there. One, two, three. Fill that guy in there. Fill all of those in with just the red local metal. We're gonna grab a copycat layer, place down a copycat layer right there, and then a copycat half layer will go right there. And all of that can be filled in with the red local metal. There we go. Kind of just gives you a different color on the top of Arthur. Just something something different and unique. That sort of thing. So at this point, this is what your Arthur should look like. And you can definitely call it call it good and complete. Um, you can mess around with stuff, do something different if you want. It's completely up to you. Um, I like how this looks and how it gives the signature almost lightning bolt on the side of arthur um you are able to, you can you know this is just a thing that you can do we grab the yellow local metal you can place a couple of these guys here for his letters lms just like that would represent what those those are right there you could even fill these in with yellow if you wanted to, although that actually looks terrible. Um, you know, it's just the things that you could do. So I want to see what you guys do differently. If you decide to do something differently, you know, join my discord, post it to me. Uh, let me see that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is my interpretation of Arthur. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I enjoyed. This took me a while to come up with and I'm actually pretty proud of it. Um, we will see a tutorial for this fella right here at some point. You'll see a tutorial for this fella at some point. 
this fella at some point. And there are some other secrets hiding around here on the island of Bubdor that will stay secret for now. But for now, this has been a short little tutorial, probably super long, where I once again have forgotten to show you how to glue. Literally, because we unlinked this back, back wheel, literally all you need to do is just place down a couple of temporary blocks run a bead of glue to connect everything come in here place it out of assembled mode hop in your chair and blow his whistle there you go if you like the video please like the video uh, if you dislike the video dislike the video oh i forgot to glue those so don't forget to glue those like I just did. Um, but yeah, you'll figure that part out on your own. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Um, leave me a comment letting me know what you think. Uh, letting me know um, just whatever. You know, make sure you say hi to Bean, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Uh, great rest of the week all that stuff all those things until then until next time this has been bubby thanks very much and okay love you bye